Well, good evening, Donna. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're just back again on on um, on a Thursday evening. This is something that we've kind of picked up on on uh, lately. We in the month of March, we kind of uh, started uh, doing three nights, uh, Sundays and Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we've added another Thursday to our show uh, for the month of April. So um, I'm with LaDonna Sherwood, my co-host. We're going to be with our guest tonight, the WFG Financial, uh, with Ann Jones and Michael Jaco. I don't know why I thought I'd take that junior off of that. Let me take that junior off of that because he's not a junior. No. Move that. Let me move that off of here. Okay, there we go. I told uh, them to. We're going to mess everybody's name up. Yeah, That's I'm good. always doing that. I'm always doing that. So we're back. Okay, great. So what's going on in the... Um, so let's get started with our show and uh, tell everybody what we're going to be doing and what we're knowledge all about. Is, knowledge is Power Podcast Live is a platform to share important information by educating Southeast Texas African-American communities with valuable information on health, education, finance, politics, and business. We pride ourselves on keeping our hand on the pulse of the community and keeping you abreast of what is going on in and around the Golden Triangle. Yeah, and now this is Power Podcast Live, not only on Facebook, but it's on Spotify, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Apple iTunes, and Google Play. Hey, we enjoy everything that we do here at Knowledge is Power Podcast Live. Also, let us go talk about the Texas Rent Relief Program. Yes, we are super excited because there are money that have been put forth to help people, landlords and tenants, get some rent relief during this COVID times. You can go to www.texasrentrelief.com or you can call 1-833-989-7368. And that's for the Texas Rent Relief. And there's also some monies for utilities and things of that nature. And we have the COVID-19 funeral assistance. That's through FEMA.gov. So if you have a loved one that died due to COVID in 2020 and that's COVID on their death certificate, you can go to FEMA.gov and there is some COVID funeral assistance there. Also money that we need to make sure that our community is getting their fair share. That's right. That's right. And also check out our new website, uh, www.knowledgeispowerpodcast.live. If you missed the show and want to see it again, we are uh, we have our own website. You can go and look at it that. Also, our Facebook page, Knowledge is Power Facebook page. Oh, it, it is so, uh, it is so educated uh, edu with education. Educational, I'm sorry. Uh, it has a lot of history, healthcare. Uh, just so much that you can learn about things that you did learn in school. Um, that we we love to you to go to that page. And that's not yeah, exactly, and it's page. a it's a big difference between Tony's personal page and the Knowledge is Power page. So it's yeah. chock full of information and yes. education and things that you may not know that you probably should know. And we are excited about that page. <laughs> right. And also, guys, if you drop a, drop us a comment if you want. We want to hear from you. And the guests like to hear from you as well. If you have questions, just drop us a comment in the box and be ready to go with us. So now uh, let's do this, Madonna. Let's uh, bring our guests on. And uh, we will, which is with the uh, WF, if I'm saying this right, WFG Financial. You got it. With Ann Jones and Michael J. Cole. All right. That's, from, that's right. He is. Uh, he, he let me know he's from Port Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be back in 30 seconds. To Knowledge is Power Podcast Live with your host, Tony Redfro, and my co host, Madonna Sherwood and Francis Lawkins. Knowledge is Power Podcast Live starts now. Hey, so that April 
The month of April is Financial Literacy Month. We got some feedback, Tony, from somebody's mic. I don't know if it's mine or yours or. Maybe. Let's see here. I'll find out here in a second. Who mic is that? <laughs> Not yours. That is, it's Michael's. Michael okay. got some feedback. Your mic is up too loud. Okay, thank okay. you. All right. Now, LaDonna, would you introduce our guest for this evening? We are super excited because, as Tony stated, April is Financial Literacy Month, and we want to make sure that we are keeping our community up to date on financial literacy. It's a huge thing. Uh, we were speaking before the show. Um, while they consider uh, much of the African-American community impoverished, a lot of stores and shops and things of that nature are in our community. That's because we are the largest consumer. So hopefully tonight we can get some education on your but right by the money that we have. Even if we don't have as much or all of it, we can do what's right by what we have. And we're super excited to have and Michael J. Cole tonight is going to give us some information that we really, 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 really want to get. I think you might, Don, I think you might need to check out and check back in because your mic is more muffy. Is it cutting out and cutting in? Okay, no, it's I'm just muffy. Out. Just muffy. Just not, I'll log not out, clear log enough, in. yeah? Okay. okay. Well, okay. I'll pick up where you left off at. Okay. I've got our guests, Ann Jones and uh, Michael J. Cole. Hello, ladies. I mean, gentlemen. And, uh, <laughs> so let's see here. I'm so glad to have you here on our show. We love to have you. We like to share and educate our community, African-American community. Absolutely. Viable information about financing. And again, um, eight, the month of April is, the, uh, uh, is Financial Literacy Month. So we want to talk about financing. Uh, and uh, so why don't you guys want to start and give us like um, your mission and vision for our community? Absolutely. And uh, would you like to share that? Is my mic okay now, Tony? Yes, sir. Yes, absolutely. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, great. Awesome. Well, yes, it is. April is Financial Literacy Month, and our mission here is to build and protect wealth for families. We want to help families move from financial insecurity to financial independence, and that is our mission. And our vision is to build a new industry, okay, with 1 million business associates worldwide, and to revolutionize the financial services industry to help resolve the consumer's dilemma, which is lack of understanding, planning, and support. And that is our vision. Thank you. Yes, very, very, very good job, uh, and you're absolutely correct. And you know, just to just to piggyback on what Ann said, Tony and Ladonna, and you know, I noticed that you guys uh, podcast talk about uh, uh, how powerful, how, how our education is power, and and finance is power. But we believe that knowledge, applied knowledge, is powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so I know you believe knowledge is powerful. However, applied knowledge is powerful, and that's what sometimes get our community is that we get good information but never put it to use. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You're absolutely correct. So we're looking forward to us. Tell us what are your main highlights that you want to hit tonight so that we can kind of give the audience a sneak peek of what we're going to go over tonight. Absolutely. I'd like to start off by talking about we are on a national campaign, our company for financial education. Our mission is to educate LaDonna 30 million families by 2030. Okay. And what we want to do is empower people with information to learn more about what we call the wealth formula. And a lot of people don't even know what the wealth formula is. I tell people all the time, LaDonna, how can you build wealth if you don't know the formula? Okay. And yeah. so for, 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 for those of us who are listening, our, our audience, the wealth formula is money plus time. People have a lot of money. Some people have a lot of time. Plus or minus LaDonna, where you put your money, minus taxes, minus inflation equals wealth. And let me say that again. The wealth formula is money plus time, plus or minus the rate of return you earn on your money, minus inflation, minus taxes equals wealth. That's the wealth formula. I was 51 years old, LaDonna, before I got that information. Isn't that something? Wow. If we could... If we could I'm trying to get that, if that we formula. Could, if, we, if we could learn 
sooner. We how all all the more, more better we would be. <laughs> you know, um, not knowing is a problem in itself. Yes. Talk about yes. ways that people perish for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely, I agree one hundred percent. I believe that you know, and then the way that we present the information is that we have workshops, complimentary workshops, Tony and Ladonna, complimentary workshops. And so forth, where people can go to get this information and apply it to their lives. Okay, I'm gonna pass it to Ann right now, and she could talk to you guys about the workshop that we have complimentary on a weekly basis. Ann, would you like to share about that? Yes, absolutely. You know, like Michael said, our our workshops are complimentary, meaning they are free. You know, you can hop on online, and they are every single day, Monday through Friday, and many times a day. You know, we talk about topics like we have four different workshops that we offer and we talk about topics like increasing your cash flow and debt management. And then, of course, building a strong financial foundation and proper protection and then building wealth and asset accumulation, even retirement planning and also wealth preservation. You know, those are the four topics that we talk about in our workshops. Like I said, they're offered um, every single day. Monday through Friday and many times a day. You know, we have that schedule for for Tony, uh, for people that would love to be a part of that. You know, you can hop on there, register and just join in on those workshops that are offered many times a day, Monday through Friday. And we're excited about that because our workshops are how people gain the knowledge and then implement it in their lives. Because like you said, um, Adon, we people, people perish for lack of knowledge and we want to give them the knowledge. And it's complimentary. So, you know, we want people to understand that they can hop on these workshops and start learning for themselves and, of course, for their families. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you very much, Ann. And, and Tony, if you would, can you put that uh, that, 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 that picture you had of our fin uh, proper financial foundation? Watch this here, you guys. Financial foundation is like building a house. Watch this here. It's like building a house. The first thing you have to do when you build a house LaDonna is have a what? A good foundation. What's that foundation that we need? Protection. Okay, what are we trying to protect, Michael? We're trying to protect your ability to make income because if something happened to you, now that income is left out of the household. How do you replace that income? Through life insurance. You know, we walk around with insurance on our cell phone, but we refuse to have insurance on ourselves. Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. That makes sense, Tony. Yes. And, the next, and the next step is debt management. We tell people if you're earning 50000 stop trying to live on 60. Mm -hmm. and, then, mm -hmm. and then the next step, emergency fund. What's an emergency fund? Emergency fund here in Southeast Texas is when a hurricane is on its way and you have to take your family and relocate. Okay. And then last but not least, investment. But what happened is people get a good job, Tony and LaDonna. And then the first thing they start doing is trying to invest their money, have an emergency, and got to go pull the money from the investment. Okay? We want to show you how not to do that. How you feel about that, Tony? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Just go ahead on. <laughs> <laughs> so Donna, how you feel about it? I'm super excited. I am super excited because this is the information that we need to know. Baby, if you're making 50, you don't need to be living on 60. You need to be living working on about 40. You need to go down below your means. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, LaDonna, this is what we tell people. Stop trying to impress your neighbors who you don't even like. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they don't mm -hmm. like you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we say that all the time. You know, Absolutely. let's stop trying to impress people. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello, Deborah Brown. <laughs> yes. And, uh, yes. And just a little bit more to add on that. And how do you feel about talking about the 1020 rule, Ann? Let them know about the concept of 1020 rule and so forth. Very powerful rule. Well, that is a powerful rule, Michael. And, you know, basically the 1020 rule just helps you prepare for your retirement. You know, and we people want, sometimes don't understand how they can prepare for that. And what it takes is money, actually. You know, and so we want to ensure people that they can be comfortable in their retirement. But we also want to advise them how they have to have at least 20 times of their income to retire, 20 times their annual income to prepare for retirement. And for an example, if the person is making about $50,000 per year, their target retirement number should be about a million dollars because 20 times their annual income. And so a lot of times people just don't understand. And we, we want to help people gain this knowledge. And we speak about that so much because, you know, we work hard all our lives. And we talk about that in our Saving Your Future book is 
how we work hard all our lives. We need to retire, plan for our retirement. And then sometimes we end up having to go back to work or whatever. So we want to help people, you know, plan for long lives, right? And so some of us need to um, just put those things in place early on, but we sometimes don't understand how to do that. And that's why our campaign is so important. You know, even to myself, I know, Michael, we didn't get a chance to say a little bit about ourselves, but even as myself as a nurse, you know, making extra good income, you don't always understand how to properly prepare for our future. And that's why our book is so important, Our Saving Your Future. And so those type of concepts. I'm sorry, go ahead, LaDonna. When you say retire, I think a lot of people think they're just going to work till they die. They don't ever yes. plan on not stopping working. It's just like work till you work know till Jesus. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, sometimes also I want to add to that really quick. And Michael always says this, you know, a lot of times we see people and we're not talking about anyone, but they're saying like, welcome to Walmart because they haven't planned those things and they have to do go back into work. And we want to help people prepare for they don't have to do that. You know, we want to give them the knowledge so they can plan because we sometimes don't we sometimes don't plan to fail. Right. We just fail to plan. Oh, that is so good. And you are absolutely right. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what happens and so forth. And yes. so, and because of technology, Tony and LaDonna, is that we are living longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are living longer. Uh, nowadays, you know what I mean? If you have high blood pressure, you pop a pill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have cholesterol, you pop another pill. Okay, you have a heart problem, they put a stent in. So because of technology, we are living longer. So what mm -hmm. ends up happening is we end up outliving our money. Yes. And that's what we don't want to do. And that uh, and that 10 20 rule that Ann was explaining, that she, she, she explained the, the, the 20 part, but the 10 part is the protection. Yes. So if you have, if you're earning $50,000 worth of annual income, then you need at least 10 times that 500000 And let right. me tell you how I used to tell people in our neighborhood. You know, back when I was a kid, I'm 58 years old. I don't know if I told you guys that, but I'm 58 years old. And Tony knew I went to Lincoln High School. So I'm just going on the shoot by that. Yeah, I, know. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming up. <laughs> in my neighborhood, when I was coming up on Saturday morning, there'd always be the knock on the door, and we'd be looking at cartoons and we'd tell our mama, Mama, that's the insurance guy. She said, Boy, be quiet. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so you know, and we get them ten, twenty thousand dollar policies. And so when we pass on, we don't transfer wealth, we transfer poverty. Right. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do in our community is learn how to transfer wealth, not right. policy. Yeah. And a lot of times, Tony, is what we transfer to our family is we leave them the family house. Preach. And then we end up fighting for it. Right. Mm -hmm. Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> Go ahead on. We talk about kind of language. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, you know, I, kind of language. Yep. and I share that information all the time, you guys, is that we need to we need to evolve and so forth. And, you know, a lot of us were not born in wealth, but we can transfer wealth through death. You know, and I tell people in my community, I'm not doing no GoFundMe. I'm not selling no fish dinners and I ain't buying no shirts. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you know what I tell people? I say insurance is money when it matters most. It mm -hmm. benefits are better than begging and borrowing. Yes. At the end of the day, my mother's been in insurance for 33 years. And I always tell people, you insure what you want to make sure that you can protect, okay? And right. that be your life, your home, your family, your car, your things. That's mm -hmm. the things that you insure. And you right. need to continue yeah. to do that for the future, on into the future. You're absolutely correct. And and if you don't mind, take a minute and uh, share with them about uh, our uh, how to pay yourself first. Yes. <laughs> okay. Tell yourself first. Yes, yes, I love that. You know, that was one of the things that really got me uh, to understand it better. And, you know, paying yourself first, what that means is about learning about your money, right? And how yes. you can set aside at least five to 10% of your money um, and save for the future. Right. Um, if, if possible, you also say it would be 15% or more. And then you can treat it like a bill. You know, um, mm -hmm. you must pay and pay it first, right? Right. And so sometimes spending money is truly. Um, a way of life for many people, but then shopping becomes a habit and so on and so forth. And sometimes people don't really understand how they can pay themselves first. Mm -hmm. But we say that small changes equals big impact, right. right? And so we just really want to help people understand that they can set aside that 5, 10, 15%, treat like a bill, pay yourself first. 
you know, doesn't it make sense to pay your family first before paying those other bills, those other people's bills? Right. You know, like your cable TV or your all those things that we pay, right? So we want to make sure that we can pay ourselves first because at the end of the day, um, it changes and makes a big impact. You know, start saving ten dollars a day. You know, ten dollars a day, Tony, is uh, three hundred dollars a month. That's right. You know, we show people how they can put that somewhere where it can grow over time in tax deferred places, and then it makes a big impact over time. Um, and so we show people how they can do that. Okay, so hopefully that was Absolutely. helpful, Michael. Yes, it was very helpful. I remember saying, I remember saying, Madonna, is that uh, I work with a lot of uh, business owners. And let's say, for instance, we have somebody that's on the call that's a beautician or uh, that's a barber and so forth. What mm-hmm. I teach them, Madonna, is to your first two customers of that day is for you. Mm-hmm. You put your little paper bag on the side of your chair and the first two people come in, that's for you. That's how you mm-hmm. pay yourself first. OK, right. because I tell people, Tony, is that we pay uh, a cable bill and can't save one hundred dollars a month. Right. You got it. You got it. Yep. That's right. That's right. Right. And so, and, and, and so sometimes you got to cut the cable off. That's right. You mm-hmm. got to cut the cable off and so mm-hmm. forth. So, yes, uh, I see we have a Bumblebee fan up there. Somebody know the Bumblebee. Hey, Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Hi, Hello, Mary. Mary. We know Mary. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. Awesome. And, uh, no, all the bumblebees are all the same. The bum- Everybody <laughs> loves the bumblebees. Even, 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 even Muhammad Ali used to say, float like a butterfly, sting like, sting a, like bee. a bee. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey we, we got some good talk going on here. I like this. That, I mean, because now, Ed, tell us a little bit more. Just a little just a little bit more how they can save their money on that plan. That, just a little bit. Don't, don't give it all. Just a little bit. So they can, <laughs> They can ask questions, you know. Okay, well, you know, basically the key is to understand, you know, gain the knowledge and then apply the knowledge that you gain. So we share with you how you can just take that $10 a day, Tony. We just use that for example. Just saving that $10 a day. You know, that's $300 a month, of course, but it's also saving for your future. And then if you can understand how delayed gratification, you know, we 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 sometimes want that instantaneous things. And so we don't think about our future and saving for our future. But it's about delayed gratification because we want to live that long life. Right. Mm -hmm. We want to have longevity, but we got to prepare for it now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's never too late. A lot of times people say, well, I wish I'd known this 30 years ago. Well, it's okay. Let's start now. Let's start now. And all it takes, Tony, LaDonna, is discipline. Right. And commitment. And And I'm so glad that we're having this conversation because people like myself, like you say, small business owners. Mm -hmm. My first I've been in business for 14 years, but I know my first probably eight or nine years I was spending as much as I was making and I was making good money. Mm-hmm. And my mama couldn't tell me nothing. And so, you know, hindsight is 2020. <laughs> and I'm 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 happy to be the poster child. So for people out there that are watching under the side of my blood, please listen to what these people are saying, honey. Yes. I, I've already did all the bumps and bruises and spin it and bought it, BMWs and all of this stuff. And it don't oh, make no sense. And at the end of the day, guess what? You can't take that with you. So you need to make sure that you plan for while you're here. Spend right. it while you're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we out through talking? <laughs> well, I'm sure Michael's going to ch- gonna share a little bit about, you know, how we can take uh, LaDonna and Tony, what we what we put in and how it turns over over time. You know, maybe the magic of compounded interest, you know, the rule of 72. And a lot of times people don't understand that, but I'm sure Michael will be able to share with you guys. It's an, it's an Albert Einstein concept. I mean, well, it's I'm been like, around for a very long time, right? Right. Well, let's, let's, let, let me hear about the, the rule of 72. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And if you could put it up, uh, Tony, that'd be good from the book. And so uh, forth. the rule of 72, thank you, Ann. Mm-hmm. The rule of okay. 72 is an Albert Einstein concept where you take 72 divided by how much interest you're earning on your money. That's how long it takes your money to double. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people put their money in a bank. A bank gives you less than 1%. Let's say that we found a bank, LaDonna, that gave us 1%. 72 divided by one is what? 72. How many 72 years we have? Probably just one, honey. Exactly. Maybe one and so forth. But watch this here. 
Watch this. I think it's on the next page. Go to the next page. Next, next page. Okay. This, uh, watch this here. The rule of 72, the rate of return, the power, the power of compounded interest. That's what it's talking about. Now, watch this here. This is an example. You have three people. Okay. The first person decided to put their money where they're getting 6%. Okay. 72 mm -hmm. divided. There you go. But put their money where they're getting 4%. Okay, now everybody's 29 years old, you guys, and mm -hmm. everybody start off with ten thousand dollars. These mm -hmm. are three different individuals. Now, the first person put their money where they're getting four percent, 72 divided by four is what 18. So, every 18 years, the money doubled. So, at 29, you have ten thousand dollars, 18 years later, at 47, you have twenty thousand, and at 65, 18 years later, you have forty thousand dollars. Now, tell me this, sir, what you're going to be able to do with forty thousand dollars at 65? It may it may last us what a half a year a year probably nothing mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now let's say Tony was sharp where he put his money where he's getting eight percent well seventy two divided by eight is nine so that means his money double every nine years and now at sixty five we're talking about one hundred and sixty thousand okay a little bit better right right now let's say Madonna she's the sharpest one on here because she's driving that BMW she think I didn't hear that but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she, put, she put her money where she's getting 12 percent now it doubles every six years now at 65 we're talking about six hundred and forty thousand dollars it matters where you put your money okay and like ann was mentioning earlier a lot of people are looking for instant gratification mm -hmm. but really true wealth is mm -hmm. built okay it's almost like a seed that we plant mm -hmm. in the ground okay mm -hmm. And then you water it, you cultivate it, and then one day you'll get a tree. Same mm -hmm. things like with money and so forth. Money has to have time. Remember the wealth formula? It takes money plus time. Okay? And I tell people we want to help our younger generation, our millennials, and so forth, because they have a lot of time. Me, myself, I'm a baby boomer. I better have a lot of money because I may not have a lot of time. Okay? So, right. anyway, so the rule of 72 is a powerful concept a powerful concept on how to grow money. Now, let me tell you how we, as a black community, use it adversely. Okay. Okay, watch this here, Tony. We go down to the payday loan place, borrow $500, got to pay back $2,000. That's right. Yes. Preach, go preach. Now, let me tell you this here. <laughs> tell it like it is. I'm telling it like it is. <laughs> this, is, this, is this is what I learned, Tony, and I appreciate yeah. it. This is what I learned from them concept. Okay, watch this here. And, and, and some people might want to write it down. If you understand interest, it will pay you. That's right. If you don't, you will pay it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Say it again. That's it. If you understand interest, it right. will pay you. Right. If you don't, you will pay it. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's absolutely correct. And that's what we're trying to do here, share this information so we can uh we can apply it to our lives and be powerful. Because mm -hmm. knowledge is power, and applied knowledge is powerful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's so true. That is so true. That's so true. Yes. I'm I'm very I'd like to hear that again. Give me another example. I like to hear that example. I'm excited. We'll go back to that loan and, and pay $2,000 back on $500. That does not make any sense. Does not make any sense. I was going to go a step further and say those payday loan people, they're reporting against your credit. Now your credit score is bad. Now your interest rate then went up again. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, somebody. We follow that cycle. <laughs> Absolutely. That's because we don't know LaDonna. Watch this here. Watch me here. And, 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 and look here. If I step on anybody's toes, just say ouch, okay? Now watch this here. When I was first coming up and I purchased my first vehicle, went into the credit union, they gave me a four-year loan to pay it out, 48 months, okay? And my payment was like about $300, $400, okay? Nowadays, you can go in and purchase a new car and get up to 70, 60 months, 72 months. And then what that does is lower the monthly Right. Lower the monthly down so make it more affordable. However, it extends the loan out and you're right. paying more in interest. Okay, that's right. Tony and know all about that. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, that's it. I just yeah. said that because Tony. I just said that because you asked for an example and I seen that Honda on your shirt. Oh yeah. <laughs> say, Tony yeah. know all about that. You 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 say ouch, Tony. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> 
But you know, that's, that's exactly uh, the truth. I, I I had a client today, and I was trying to explain to him. Say, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're wasting you you're putting good money on top of bad money. Why don't you go into a low interest, shorten your term, and you in two years you broke even. Hmm. Uh, and, and I guess you know we need to be educated on finances. And, uh, you know, even though I am a salesperson, but I love educating them about their finance. Right. And uh, it will help them down the road. Um, so that's important. And I love what you guys are doing. I love what you're saying. I, 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 I'm, I'm in agreement with it. We must continue to educate our, our, our community our, our, about finance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's so true. It is. So you know, and again, here's another here's another uh, uh, topic that we can move on to, and that is the tax bracket. Mm. We 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 pay taxes on everything. We pay tax at the end of the year. We see, you know, you know, that, that's money we put in, and, and that's money we're getting back out, there, which is out. But uh, let's talk about tax bracket so we know about it, because a lot of us don't know about the tax bracket. They take their tax papers, their documents to the tax office, and they'll write them and tell what they get. That's all they're looking at. That's it. That's, yeah. But I, I like to say this while we are, while we are talking about this, I, I won't get distracted. When you talked about, you mentioned about the barbers and uh, beauticians and these self-employed people. I, I want to make, I want to put a note in here for you guys to understand. When you when you are self-employed like that, if you're making money, please deposit everything, everything in your in your um, bank account. Even if you put it in one minute and take it out, this is showing that you have an income coming in. That's all the lenders want to see is your income. So if you're making three hundred dollars a week, put that three hundred dollars in the bank, deposit it, and get a withdrawal and withdraw and get back in the line and withdraw right back, right back out. So it's showing that you've got income coming in consistently, so that when they ask for proof of income, you can say, "I, I, I don't, I don't know," you know. So uh, I say that is because uh, they don't, don't, don't know what to do, how to handle that. And and it shows a paper trail that, okay, you're making $4,000 a month. You got 4,000 deposits says you make it for every month. You put, you deposit $4,000. So your average income is $4,000. So that is your proof of income, people, if you don't know it. The banks will always ask you for the last three months of your bank statement or your last six months of bank statement. So make sure if you're self-employed, I don't care if you cut your yard, Every dollar you make, you deposit in a bank account, credit union, whatever. Check it out, save it. And if you need it, pull it right back out. All the interest is your deposits. I said enough. Guys, go ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a very that's a very good point. And uh and, and being that you was talking about the tax bracket, I'm gonna pass that to Ann and let her talk to you guys about uh, the three buckets and so far. Unless you prefer me to talk about it, Ann. Well, yeah, you can, Michael. I know you explained it really well. I mean, because we understand, we sometimes we we want to hear that from someone that sees how important that is. Because a lot of times we think about taxes and it goes in one ear out the other. But when I was brought into this information, right, and think about tax now, tax later, and tax never, that was so important to me. But I would love to hear so we can just explain to our audience tonight and give a yeah. good outlook on that. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> Our money, our money, you guys, and 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 just, just, just let me use LaDonna. LaDonna, I know where your money's at, mm -hmm. okay? It's in three buckets. It's in one of the three buckets or all three. The first bucket is tax now. That's checking account, savings account, CDs, mutual funds. That's what you're paying taxes on right now. The second bucket, LaDonna, is tax later. That's your full one account, full three account, uh, annuities, and so forth. Now, your tax-free account or Roth IRA. 
uh, 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 life insurance, long-term care, and so forth. That's the column that we don't know anything about. And that's what we need to do, Donna, because I remember coming up when I had my first job, my grandmother told me, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that before. And so I'm saying that to say this here, you want to be diversified with your money. So where you have some money in tax now, which is a checking account, some money in tax later, which is your retirement plan, and some money in tax-free tax advantage. And we want to show you what those accounts are, okay? And so I know Ann is going to put our information up later, maybe Tony will and so forth, so we can sit down and talk to you because we do complimentary workshops but you want to take advantage of the tax-free tax advantage account. And one of the best accounts in a tax-free and cash, the tax advantage is life insurance. People have no idea. There's a book out there called Money, Wealth, and Life Insurance. How the wealthy uses life insurance to supercharge their wealth and their savings. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about it. LaDonna, Tony, I didn't know anything about it until I joined this platform and started learning for myself. And now I know how to uh, how to benefit from these tax advantage uh, of, of products and how to, when I get older in age, how to have my money and not pay taxes on it. Let me give you a little example because this is a show of examples, okay? Now watch this here. <laughs> People have their money in a 401k. Your money is growing what? Tax deferred. Meaning that you don't pay taxes on your money until you start to pull it out. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you have uh, half a million dollars in your 401k and you're retiring at 60. Now, guess what? You're not going to get a half a million dollars because guess what? You got to pay taxes on the gains. And whatever your tax bracket is, let's say you're in a 25% tax bracket, now you're going to be coming home with 475000 something like that. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. okay. So you have to pay taxes on the gains. Now, if you had that money, Tony and LaDonna, in a tax-free account, now that $500,000 is $500,000 is yours. And that's what we show you, just simple concepts like that. And I, being 58 years old, I didn't think, I thought I was too old to learn this information, <laughs> but then guess what? I'm so glad that I received this information and I'm learning it because guess what? One day I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to transfer some wealth to my children. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to want my children to understand these concepts because if we leave our children a whole bunch of money with no knowledge, then we know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. They will soon depart. But they don't soon depart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. but, but, but if we put the horse, which is knowledge, before the wagon, which is money, now we're going to do a whole lot better. So what we want to do we want to get this information and share it, not only with our family and our community, but with your children as well. So when they come up, they don't have to struggle and go through some of the things that our parents and grandparents went through. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's all based upon knowledge. So you really want to understand the different buckets about taxes. I hope I did a good job, Ann. You did a great job. I have a, a little bit of, um, I, I looked at the programming. I'm glad that you said something about transferring wealth. Now, explain to us a little bit about wills and trusts and things of that nature, because we, we need to get a clear understanding on some of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, would you like to share that, Ann? Go ahead and take it. Well, I was going to share, you know, wills, we, we understand that wills are good, you know, but we what I've learned, uh, LaDonna and Tony, so far is that how trusts are so much better. So trusts, we be able to put those in place and they kind of act like, well, they do act like you're still living. So you can set those things up where that you're no longer here, but it's acting like that you are here because your wishes are being made. And so that's why trusts are so important. And then wills, of course, you know, someone passes away, you know, then those probate taxes are involved. You have to go to court and so on and so forth. And so a lot of times people just don't really understand the importance of a trust versus a will. And that's why our knowledge and campaign is so important to share so people can get that, you know, to understand. And I was just thinking about, you know, my mother, she was able to benefit from a trust, from me benefiting from the campaign and cause we able to share with our family, our friends, like Michael said. And so now those trusts is put in place. You know, you have the medical power of attorney, um, um, 
the um the directors. I'm sorry. directors, all the directors, the advanced directors are put in place, you know, and that's so important. It acts continues to put those things in place. So the trust, the directives, and all of that is very needed and necessary. And people just really just don't understand the importance of a trust. It just acts like you're still alive when you're not. It's irrevocable. Um, irrevocable, there's two ways. And so we explain all those things as part of our campaign and knowledge and sharing. And I'm sure, Michael, you can add to that as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ann. And, and, and LaDonna, that's a very good question. And we need to get out of not... See, what, what happens, LaDonna, is that people think they don't have any assets. Mm -hmm. But yes, you do. And, and and you need to put that in place, like Ann said, if you put it in a will and so forth, which is good, don't get me wrong, but it's not the best, okay? But if you have a will, at least you have a will. Mm -hmm. However, you may have to uh, go pray, like Ann said, probate taxes and so forth to have things transferred out of your name into your other family member her name. We show mm -hmm. you how to minimize that. And you can mm -hmm. minimize that by putting together a trust. And uh, we would be more than happy to educate people on that. Uh, and uh, Tony was able to put out information out there and so forth. And we want to help as many people as we can understand the difference between a will and a trust. And that's part of our uh, workshops as well, LaDonna. Very good question. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, okay. Well, Tip, I, I know you mentioned about uh, uh, pay yourself first. Uh, can I kind of back you up into that again so they can understand how to pay themselves first? And, okay. Yeah. Oh, and okay. Oh, I mean, who, you know, who can explain it? Better? Well, basically, we're able to help help people understand different vehicles, different solutions that they're able to put in place. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, you set aside, Tony, we use $10, for example, set aside that for you to pay for your future, right? Mm -hmm. And you were able to set you up and, and share with you different solutions and different vehicles where you're able to do that. And like, say, for example, if you're a married couple, then you're able to set aside $20 a month, which is $600, $20 a day, I'm sorry, which is $600 a month in a vehicle where it's able to grow over time, and that's how you set aside. When we talk about set aside, it's set aside in an area where that's gonna be able to um, perform over mm -hmm. time for your future, mm -hmm. okay? Another way that I explain it also, Tony, and, and, and that's a very good job, Ann, is what I do, Tony, is I get a sheet of paper. Y'all see this sheet of paper? Yes. Now, this sheet of paper is your paycheck, mm -hmm. okay? So when you get your paycheck, the first thing you pay is what? Maybe rent or a house note. Yeah. Right? right. And then what you pay a car note. We gotta pay a car note, right, Tony? Right. And then let's say you want to buy some groceries, right? Right. Then we gotta pay for all our car insurance, house insurance, right? Right. right. Then we gotta pay, put some money aside for vacation, right? Right. And then we got I don't know those of us who believe in giving at church, you gotta give, okay? That's right. Now watch this here. We find ourselves with this here left, and we say, Well, I might well go to Papa though. <laughs> but, when you neglect, yeah. pay yourself first. Yeah, pay yourself first. <laughs> but, right. but but when you pay yourself first, Tony, most of those individuals have a 1099. Well, when they get their issue of money, the first thing they do is what? Pay themselves and watch this here, Tony, and make everything else fit. Yes. Maybe, you know, maybe I can't go to the Rockets game. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe I can't get that accord. I got to get that other one. You know what right. I mean? You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right. Back. Maybe, you know, maybe I can't go to a Lamar game. I got to go to a Bumblebee game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. But, hey, guys, I mean, I am excited about you guys being here with us tonight. And uh, we got to do it again, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, um, our time is just about up. But uh, we just we can go on and on and on. But uh, again, people, we're dealing. we our guest tonight is is uh, Ann Jones and Michael Jaco, and they're with the W. Um, is it WSBCampaign.com? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's on the screen, mm -hmm. and they have given us some some very important information about our finance and how to how to handle our finances, what to do the to accomplish our financial gain. And I think it's been a great evening. What do you think, LaDonna? I think it's been super exciting. It's information that we need. And we like to give Miss Ann and Mr. Michael a place to, like, plug in 
where you're located, your hours of operation, yes. your phone numbers, whatever we need as in closing to make sure that the people know how to reach you, how to um, apply for those seminars or get registered. I know that they're free, whatever you guys are offering. And uh, we know that April is Financial Literacy Month. And we want to make sure that people know where they can go to get that information and how to reach you because knowledge is power and knowledge in use is powerful. I'm super excited about that tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, LaDonna. And yes, my, my name and uh, my name is Ann Jones and my number is here on the, on the screen, you guys. And we also have our website, wsbcampaign.com forward slash LA Jones. Uh, you know, our campaign is about educating families. So we're individuals you know, myself, Michael, and we're all over the U.S. and Canada, but you can directly uh, connect with each of us. Um, and then we're able to plug you into webinars and give you the um, financial workshops registration where you can hop on those uh, workshops and join in with that. You know, because we definitely want to educate 30 million families by 2030. And that's our goal, you know, and it needs more of us to get the information to more of you. So it's very important. We're excited about it. We're excited to be on here tonight. So I want to say from myself and on behalf of Michael, thank you so much for inviting us. You know, it's truly been a pleasure to share this great knowledge with, yes. uh, with you guys and other people. So I'll pass it on to Michael, but thank you guys so much. Let, let, let me ask you again, let me ask you this. Is, do, you, do you guys mind to come back again? Because I love financing. I love teaching oh, about finance and, and, and discovering a lot of things that we need to know. Our people really need to know this. Yes. I don't care if you're black, brown, green, white, yellow. Everyone. We need to know about finances. Yes, absolutely. absolutely right. We right. would we, we would love to come back, and because we are very passionate about getting this information out to as many people as possible. Okay. And yeah. our office, our office uh, uh, was before a COVID. We were at the Beaumont Tower, twenty six fifteen, called the Avenue. However, when COVID hit, we went to virtual, and so mm -hmm. forth, just for our health reasons and so forth, and to make sure that we stay safe. But we're going to be opening our office back up in the next several months. But our information is on the screen. You can contact and reach out to each one of us with our cell phone number. And then we, we do virtual uh, Zoom calls just like this format and help as many people as we can. And if I had to have a parting uh, comment on my way out, Tony and LaDonna, I always end my, uh, my, uh, my presentations and my meetings with this here. And we all are familiar with Helen Keller, right? Right. Helen Keller was born blind. She said, I'd rather be blind with no sight than to have sight with no vision. Let's have some visions, you guys. Thank you very much. Right. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I always say it is written the word that my people shall perish from the lack of vision. That's right. Thank you, everyone. We enjoyed you. We'll be back on Sunday at 730 with another financial... 7.30. Let's see. 7.30. Let's see. Uh, I can't get there. Okay, 7.30. Uh, Knowledge is Power Podcast Live. Thank you, uh, Mike and Ann. We, we, we love it. We're going to come back and do this every quarterly, okay? Awesome. Thank you All guys right. so much. Thank you, awesome. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Knowledge is Power Podcast Live. Be sure to like and subscribe to all Knowledge is Power social media pages.